you've watched many of these other channels or other people on social media tell you a story and it led you to buy, but you have not been able to do it yourself. You have not figured out how to use storytelling to attract your ideal client or customer. If that sounds like you and you're frustrated, you just want answers, listen, this is the right video for you because we're going to talk about it now. Hello, For if this is your first time, thank you for watching. If you're a return uh, viewer, thank you for coming back. My name is Jackie. So what I do is I help individuals, help individuals uh, leverage their story in order to increase clients and get them to buy, simply put. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to use storytelling to attract your ideal customer. And I'm going to give you five steps. So make sure you make sure you watch until the end. The first way to use storytelling uh, to attract your ideal client is you must write down who's buying your product. I know people tell you to, oh, just figure out who would you like to sell to and create this fantasy character. <clears throat> That's what I say, okay? I know that's not very professional, but that's all I have to say about that. Listen, you have to figure out who is buying your stuff because if you want to make this amount of money, let's say you desire to sell a product or, or service for $3,000. You're brand new. You just turned the corner. You just hit play on your business. And you're wondering who's going to buy, who's going to pay $3,000. Everybody is not going to pay $3,000 for your product, even when they do new, need it. So it's important that you figure out who's buying your idea, who, who's buying, who is your real ideal customer or client, okay? Who's buying? Figure out who's spending $3,000, okay? The second is, the second step is figure out what is their problem. Not only figure out what their problem is, you have to figure out how to articulate what you feel their problem is. And so one thing I love about storytelling is once you figure out who's buying your ideal per pe person and you figure out the problem they have that you can say, the next step is, where are they with this problem? So once you've figured out who's buying the, the, the stuff, the product and service at that rate, okay, because we're we're working with number. We're we are building businesses and we're going to get comfortable with numbers. Okay. So if you're not comfortable talking about money and you you're not talk, uh, comfortable with numbers, today is the day, honey. You're gonna be comfortable with numbers. If your goal is to make, and I'm just throwing this number, $3,000 a month in your business, okay? You have to figure out who can pay $3,000. What problem do they have, okay? Number three, where are they on in the problem? Because your price is, uh, your price is affected by what, wherever they are in that, in that problem. For instance, I'm gonna give you an example. A lot of times I have people reaching out for, to me, asking me, do I want to buy a, a photo, a, a drawing? Did I say I want to buy a drawing? Do you see any drawings? They're just randomly picking people, asking people if they like to buy a drawing. Meanwhile, they got all these likes and comments on their page and they're not DMing those people. They have clearly expressed an interest in their art, but instead of doing that, they're self-sabotaging themselves and going 
finding random people, asking, can I draw a picture of you? No. Where are they? Say you are, you help with content. It's important that you establish uh, whatever you're doing. For example, if you if you help people use con uh, content to reach eight figures, well, they're obviously in a higher stage in their their business. If they just started working the business, of course, and when you create your offer. When you talk, use the story to talk about your problems, you want to make sure that you start talking about the beginning if they just hit play on their business. For instance, when I have products and, or services and stuff and they are for someone that just started in the beginning, of course, when I tell my story, I'm going to be telling about the times when I started my business and I did not know what to do, I knew that God had gave me the gift and I was walking in my calling. However, I was frustrated. The reason why I was frustrated and mad and angry and crying, like I was crying, is because I had to get comfortable with being the face or and the voice of my business although i've done it tons and tons and tons and tons of times in the corporate world and did it for free when i was in the up up front and personal with my own business it scared me because there was nowhere to hide i had to stop hiding and that's an exp that those are feelings that many people or emotions that many people who are in business face. But if so, if I had a problem, I'm just giving an example. If I had a problem, somebody that was intermediate say, hey, I finally started making consistent income of said amount. But my goal was I was I wanted to get to the point where I would leave my leave corporate, leave my nine to five and work full time in my business. So here's what I did. And intermediate could be a different level. Intermediate could be the point where you're making this hundreds of thousands. You may intermediate in your eyes, maybe $3,000. It's generally um, less than how much you would make in corporate or less than how much you would you really would like to make after you've covered after you've reached profit okay and i'm not going to confuse you if you want more detail i have a, a storytelling master class where i'm going in more details and i'm going to tell you how to use storytelling to scale your business and i give more examples in in that subject so then so the first one is who's buying in order to attract uh use storytelling to attract your uh ideal customer or client you have to figure out who's buying then you figure out uh what problem do they have then you fi figure out what level they are with this problem or where they are with this problem then the fourth step in order to attract your ideal client, you have to figure out why should they buy from you. You have to figure out how you can take your story and build like, know, and trust. This is the fourth area. You figure out how can your you create a story that resonates with the people that you are speaking to or the clients that you are trying to attract in order to become visible visible and get them to sign up for your email list get them one on one so that you can get butts in, in the in the seats to your webinar or in people in your program 
just like don't forget I give more detail for in my storytelling master class where I talk about how to use storytelling to scale your business. The last step is you want to tell people how you can help. This is how I know I can help. I've went through this and you know what I discovered? I can help these people by doing this, that, this, that, and the other. Storytelling is a wonderful marketing tool. If you have not watched three reasons why you should be using you should use storytelling um, to as a marketing tool for your business, I'm gonna put it somewhere up here. It'll definitely be at the end of this video. Anyway, so let me backtrack. <laughs> let me backtrack the first uh way to use storytelling to attract your ideal client or customer is figure out who's buying. The second way is to figure out what problems that that person has, right? The third way is to figure out what level they have. Then that's the third way. The fourth way is answer why should they buy from you? And number five, how can you help? Now, number four and number five, they can kind of be switched, but it's okay. Those are the five, some of the five elements. Now, for more details, remember I'm hosting a masterclass. You simply look in the description. Okay, look in the description. If I can put it in, in one of these corners, I will. If I can't, it, it will definitely be in the description and in the comments so get into this class and if you have not subscribed to me what are you waiting for it's time thanks for watching